After every single election, the losing party was jumping up and down how the votes were being stolen, how they found burned pieces of paper in the trash can. Vote and Beyond came together and said, listen, this is too important of a question to leave to the political parties. We'll go out there and, and watch it ourselves and make sure that there's an objective and clear answer uh, to whether or not this is really the case. Oivo OTC is the reflection of the energy that went free during the Gezi protests uh, in May of 2013. Had it not been for Gezi, we would never have had the courage to come up with something like this. We would never go out there, try to get 30,000 people to watch uh, the ballot boxes. We just had an online training. This was about the roles and the responsibilities of the independent monitors, uh, and I believe about 2,000 people watched it live just now. In contrast to what our uh, volunteers believed, we showed that nothing major went down during the election day that would have an impact on the results. Now, it was a disappointment to most of our volunteers because most of the people that went to the ballot boxes, they went with the hope that by monitoring the elections, they were going to impact the results and they were going to create a whole different world just by being there for 24 hours. Are the people going to come back out after what we made public uh, in Istanbul, that there's nothing major going on? Uh, I think so, yes. We have about 12,000 volunteers now across six cities, about 7,500 of them are in Istanbul. This went through the filter of people who were there for a political party or against a political party. Now these are the people who really believe that the system needs to operate independently so that when there's going to be a change at some point in the future, this is going to be based on a just uh, electoral system.